Hello there, everybody, and welcome to part 62 of Nino Kuni. So, you want to know I realized in between videos while I was getting everything ready in between videos? I realized that the three main party members, Oliver, Esther, and Swain, the levels probably don't matter. You're really only using your familiars throughout the entire journey. And even if you have to, if you have to use, you know, your main party members, they have skills to help you out. But regardless, our three main party members, our humans, aren't really that important. But the familiars are, because I changed up our party. So, with that, here is what everyone is looking like now. Um, you will notice that they are, like, extraordinarily high-leveled. Lilligant is the highest level familiar out of all of us. And, yeah, it's pretty damn... It's pretty damn um, amazing how much Toko Tokos can do for you. But the three main familiars I have in my reserves, though, are Hot Stuff, who is a Flash Fry now, Blark Honk, a Trumpy Pumper that I got in the wild, from a Shonky Honker to a Sharper Parper, which we will see later on, to a Trumpy Pumper, so yeah. And Wispy Wood, who is able to be evolved. So, first things first. Since we need the three familiars in the reserves for a side quest, Jumbo Star Drop, get used. Now, as much as I would like to use the Kello, Kello the Wisp, we need a Wispula. So, let's give him a Jumbo Star Drop and evolve Wispy Wood into a Wispula. It looks freaking cool. It really, really looks so cool. And, uh, we have some other familiars that are long overdue for a level. But, that's the thing. I only have one left. Okay, so, um... I, I have a coin. Okay, so I have a coin. So, heads? Tyranitar will get the evolving. Tails? Um, Mega Man X will get the evolution. And I don't have any, you know, I don't have enough materials to make more Jumbo Star Drops for, for alchemy. So, here goes. Tails. Alright. I had to be fair. I had to be fair. Because Mega Man X really is the one that's long overdue for a level anyway. So, we shall evolve this little guy. Of course, you can evolve into a Steam Man or a Beam Man. But since I like the added benefit of more strength, we're going to go with Beam Man. I mean, I know for a fact that, you know, Tyranitar will be so much more useful as a fully evolved familiar. However, Mega Man X really did deserve the, uh, the evolution more. So, there you go. But what I'm not worried about are the amount of Jumbo Moon Drops that I have. So, Sully, you get an evolution. So, we can either evolve this guy into a Papa Sasquatch or a Mama Sasquatch. So, we're going to get one out for the girls. Let's evolve Sully into, you know, a Mama Sasquatch. Since Sully is a male or female name. Well, Sully, I really only know because Fire Emblem Awakening has that one party member that... That's name is also Sully, so... Yeah. However, Dima is now one of our new newly found familiars here, and... She will get a level up as well. Alright, Eldritch Empress or Sinister Sovereign? Ooh, which one do I want? Um... I'm seeing... That... Ice Queen is more of a... Eh, I'd say mixed... Uh, Eldritch Empress it is. So, I guess we can go with that. Oh, you sound spoopy. <laughs> you sound spoopy. Eldritch Empress. Alright. And that is basically everything. Um, I don't know if I have enough for a another Jumble Star Drop. No, I don't. I need Star Crystals for that. Oh, well. I'll have... I guess Tyranitar will just have to wait for his time. 
All right, so um, I have charge chests chest up here to see if I'm missing any treasure chest in Alma Moon, but it turns out I'm not. So with that out of the way, and with our pieces of heart in tow, uh, love and ambition, let's see what we can do with those. Ah, what have I done with my life? Perhaps my farming days are at an end. But husband, what has become of you? You used to love Babana so. All right, what's the problem? What's the problem, old man? It apparently seems as though something has, you know, lost his interest. Or this guy has lost his interest in his Babana growing. And, of course, you know what that means. It means that he's lost his love. You would think that would be his ambition, but it turns out no. It isn't. Yeah, where's the love? Not the ambition for the farm. Where's the love? Because that just doesn't seem to me enough. Alright, so let's give him his love. And see what we can do. Actually, we know what to do. We've done this like a bunch of times already. By the ancients, I must return to my farm immediately. My beloved Babanas will wither and die without my care and attention. Indeed. So, get two slices of golden pie and 1,500 Gs for that. And another merit card filled out. Yeah, we're going to be filling up our merit cards today. We are definitely, definitely going to be, you know, doing some merit card filling out because... All these quests, late game quests, they are going to be so, so worth your time. If you're going after every merit reward possible. Hmm? The Clarion Rit lives again? So the Three Kingdoms act as one once more. Of course, the masters of all three owe you their lives. Only this could have convinced them to work together again. I mean, at least he's saying something. At least he is all like, hey, Oliver, you did a good job, you know. He hasn't really been involved in any of the plot, but, you know, the sentiment is appreciated. Alright, so this guy, apparently it's a lover's tip, tiff, but nope, it isn't. My one and only darling dear has decided to end her career in the world of song. Don't make such a fuss, I've changed my mind, that is all. Yeah, you've been talking about achieving that dream, but now it's all down the drain. And of course, she's drained of our ambition. So in Mamuni Aital, we have to restore her ambiciones. Because that's apparently a Spanish word for some reason. What's the sensation? It's as if a weight has been lifted on my soul. I must sing. I must sing or my heart will burst. Whatever was I thinking? How could I give up my dream? How could you give up your dream, man? You were just talking about it like minutes ago, but now you're not. What's wrong with you? I mean, to be fair, you were brokenhearted, but yeah. There it is. Those are all the side quests that we can do in Alma Moon for now. So with that... We are going to have to get a new stock of ambition and, you know, love. And uh, we know where to get some. Well, we already got some in Ding Dong Dell, and that was basically the only new person with a piece of heart to give out. So, let us go to Hamlin to get a piece of love and or ambition. On the main street, this old lady has what you need. The Royal Perception, yes. You're so excited, ma'am. Do you and husband watch the processions together? Everyone, yes. It's always a special thing we do together. Yes, indeed. You must like each other a lot. Yeah, it only gets a day off once in a blue moon. Are you kidding me? Oh, man. Sounds like the life of a streamer who does things every single day. I'm so jealous of the guys. I wish I could stream every day. But I can't because I don't live on my own and two... I barely have time these days because I'm working on this. But it's okay. Because I'll get back to it eventually once I'm done with this. And I plan... I plan to get the stream career going. But anyway, she had love. So we must get love. And that's the only new... Those are the only new pieces, pieces of heart that are in Hamlin. Yeah. All the new ones. But thankfully, there is someone in Hamlin that needs love. 
and they are not that far from here. So, they are near the Kata Master, and hello. Cease! Desist! Stop your infernal barking! Um, you're talking to me, buddy. I don't think you're talking to the dog. Ruff, 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 grrr, or something like that. That's enough, boy. Stop that infernal racket. Why don't you do as you're told? Are you okay, ma'am? I'm talking to the dog. <laughs> well, dear me. Please excuse my dog's behavior. I didn't mean to alarm you. Cranky, that's one fierce mutt. I bet it'll, I, it'll have your head off if you're not careful. Dog noises. Whoa, down boy. Whatever's gotten into him? He used to be so quiet and obedient. Hmm, the mice don't look right to me. Indeed, so he has been heartbroken, and how very convenient that we just got love. A woman's best friend. You don't hear that? You don't hear that saying every day? Of course you don't, because that's never been said before. But he needs love, and so we shall give love. I gave you this piece of heart because of love. And now I will turn this piece of heart because of love. Eh. All right, so stop barking, thank goodness. Get five cheeseburgers and 1,500 Gs. And again, filling out the merit cards like it's no tomorrow. Because we are such good folks. Castaway Cove, you are our next stop. It's been forever since we've actually been here. Near the cat's cradle, we have this dude. Oh, oh my. Is everything all right, sir? You come to listen to my woes? Happy to listen. Believe it or not, the broken man you see before you is engaged to Mary. My patrol possesses beauty and kindness beyond imagining, and her mind is most sharp. And the clothing is immaculate, apparently. And what's he so miserable about? Well, he's miserable about his love. But it doesn't matter, because he's full of love anyway, despite his woes. So we will sh we will take his love. Yes. It turns out game theory is correct. If they ever made a theory about Nino Kuni, Oliver really is the bad guy. What if? What if Oliver really is the bad guy of Nino Kuni? Like, okay, hear me out on this. So, basically. What we're doing here is we're just stealing pieces of heart from, you know, people, right? You know, you would think on the outside, on the outside, we're just sharing the piece of heart that these people are possessing. Like this little kid who wants to be the king of the pirates. Sorry, buddy. Luffy is so many years ahead of you. But what if we're actually stealing these ambitions? What if we're stealing these pieces of heart from them? Like, we're stealing ambition from this kid. Like, the future Pirate King of Justice. Like, we're stealing ambition from this kid, and we just stole love from that guy over there. So it all could stand to reason that Oliver could be the bad guy. Who knows? But that's just a theory. A games Theory. Sorry, I had to say games like that. I'm... I'm... I'm duty-bound by my love for Kingdom Hearts 1 to say such things. You! Oh dear, what am I to do? What's the matter, miss? You seem kind of worried. Oh yes, it is my beloved. I no longer feel anything towards him. Gee, that sounds kind of sad. Did he do something wrong? He's been a perfect gentleman, but I don't care for him anymore. So, yeah. <laughs> wow, even though you don't love him anymore, you can't be apart from him. Like, okay, that's fair, I guess. But anyway, unrequited love. We gotta restore love. Because that's what we've been doing throughout 90... About approximately 80% of this game. Restoring the peace of heart back to the folks. And again, we're just burning through these side quests. Like, these don't take that much time at all. And they're very much worth your time. If you are absolutely diligent in doing everything. Three, three fruit flans and five merit stamps. Because, of course... Yeah. Alright. So, uh... 
over there, uh, I believe, yes. Yes, over there is where we need to go next. Because, as you would probably guess, I don't have char chests up. Why do I not have that up? I mean, aside from the urns, what do I, what am I missing? Oh, oh, thank God, I'm missing, I'm missing a purple chest over there. Okay, good. Ah, whatever is, whatever did I do to, to choose this cursed possession? Or whatever, I can't read. Because I can't do anything. All right, so this guy just got his own boat, but what good is one boat? Because apparently it was such a foolish dream for this guy to even become a fisherman. What fishermen want is a little bit of ambition. So, let's give some ambition. Because that's just how we do things. Hmm? Oh, what nonsense have I allowed I allowed to pass my lips? Ah, indeed. Yes, someone's got his dream back, and it's all thanks to me. Bottle of Sprite Dew and 1500 Gs. Oh, and by the way, I made some more, uh... Made some more, uh, Pixie Dews or whatever. Via the alchemy method. So, all is well and good. Alright, so I think, um... This treasure chest that we're gonna go after is... Oh, it's down there. Oh, oh, okay, it's a green chest. Okay, okay. I was corrected. And look at Swain, by the way. Yeah, you never really get to see Swain in the... In Castaway Cove attire, but... There you go. That's what Swain looks... This is what Swain looks like in Castaway Cove attire. It's too bad you can't really see... Um, many of the other party members because it's just been Oliver and Drippy out in the out in the enclosed locations and everybody else out in the overworld So that's weird I Swear we just heard this music in the Yule Here is this lady who is Geeking out over the fact that she has a has has met a Tom to and he's like, I so fluffy I'm gonna die <laughs> But yeah, she really really likes the Toms. In fact you could say she's in love. So we take that love from her, yes. We must take the love and shove it into our locket. Because I'm I'm rated PG I swear to you, I'm rated PG, which is why I've been cussing. Because, of course. Okay. Um, I actually forget. Uh, is this couple needing love or ambition? Yeah. Okay, uh, a couple in Yule have a nasty argument over concerning the welfare of their child. Uh, I think these guys need love. What has happened to you, husband? You're behaving so coldly. Yep, yep. Love. Okay, good. A beautiful boy child. Yeah, they call him boy child. Like, okay. They call... I, I would expect the Tom to, uh, Toms to call their young, you know, boy child or girl child, but not the humans. I guess it's just in their, you know, culture, I guess. This is technically a very different part of the world than any other, so... Yeah, I guess. Where it's, like, really cold and they're, like, Eskimo type or whatever. But, you know, it's okay. That's okay. Also, apparently, uh... I thought, like, the old woman was the husband and not the lady next to her, which is, you know, weird, but... You know, it's cool. Three handfuls of snowdrop bonbons and 1500 Gs, because, of course... And that's everything in Yule. Alright, uh, I believe next we go to the fairy ground. Pass with solutions is over here. Roll up, roll up, or you, Sunny Jim. Yeah, do you mean me? Because my name is technically Sunny. Alright, so something smells good. It's the most famous food fairy, rare bit. Uh, because that's just what you do. 
It was a small burp. Okay. So he's going to open up a very rare bit shop. And he is filled with a whole bunch of ambitions. Because that's just how he operates. Okay. So, yeah, you can basically tell, like, if you can't tell already, we're dealing with love and ambition. Because apparently there's no other person who needs, you know, kindness, confidence, enthusiasm, um, uh, da, 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 uh, what are the other ones? Yeah, the other ones. Yeah, because apparently there's no one else in the world right now who needs, you know, all those things. Because, you know, it's, it's coming. So then I says, No, man, I just seen the other fellow coming back with a massive, great, big bunch of babanas. What the heck are you doing? Yeah, what is he doing, man? Yeah, so, believe it or not, the fairy ground has two fairies who have ambition. And, you know, because, because Oliver's, uh, you know, locket will get too full... Sorry. Um, we can't do that. Oh, and by the way, if you're probably thinking we're skipping over Skull Mountain, we are. Because apparently there's nothing left for us to do at Skull Mountain. Because there's really only that one side quest and then that other side quest. Aside from, you know, the story and everything. There really isn't much left to do in Skull Mountain, which is... Strange. However, on our way to get some love. Or ambition, actually. Let me actually uh, do this. It's no good. I'll never be an alpaca, al alpaca herder. He seems glad about something. I, don't, I do not care anymore. Why do I spend my days chasing after stupid alpacas? I, or lapacas. I, I guess they're called a lapacas, I guess. Listen to what sunshine, the wise words there. I told you, well, any boy. Being the best Lapaca leader in Perdita would be swell. But this guy doesn't even know anymore. Poor lad's lost his ambition, so... We get Lapacking it in! Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, so there's a chunk of... Uh... Ambition coming your way. Coming at ya! Yeah! Trippy, that's the second time you've fallen as I've given a piece of heart to somebody. No matter, my precious lapacas must be let out to pasture. I haven't got time to waste. Yay. We restored his ambition. Because that's all we've been doing this video. Two all be gone, so that will cure all status ailments. And we get another merit card filled out. Now, this side quest is absolutely hilarious. No, not hilarious because it's funny. But it's hilarious because you can do this side quest without even trying. Hello, I want you to do something for me. I'm simply starving. Can you hear my tummy rumbling? Might you have a tasty morsel for hungry lapaca? Alright, so what does he want to eat? So, my kind are fed hay morning, noon, and night, but I've grown tired of its frankly one-dimensional taste and uninviting texture. Mir is the merest tint of luxury too much to ask? A little gourmet treat, perhaps? Gourmet treat, huh? Precisely. Would it be so wrong to, for a humble lapaca to sample the delights of a juicy babana? Alright, so... This guy wants a babana. And, spoiler alert, he wants multiple things to eat. So, if you think this side quest is just going to involve a babana, you're wrong. The Hungry Lapaca. So, we gotta help this food-obsessed guy. And, thankfully, we have a babana. So, om nom 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 nom. This is delicious. It's so soft and sweet and fruity. And it makes a change from the hay, I can tell you. Yes, in babana heaven. So, in case you don't remember where to get babanas, they sell them in Alma Moon's boutique. Alright, greedy little great lump. Still hungry? Well, he's hungry for a glow shrimp. You can get these from enemy drops, or you can buy them from somewhere. 
If I'm wrong about that, something will appear on screen right now, but if I'm right about that, nothing will appear. This is exquisite! I never tasted anything quite like this. It's tender and succulent, and it leaves a delicious tang on the tongue. So this is why people make such a fuss about seafood. Listen to the way this hairball is carrying on. He's quite the culinary connoisseur, ain't he? Seems to know a lot about food. On to the next course, then. And the next course being... A black truffle from Hamelin. You can buy these in Hamelin. Thankfully, I bought multiple ones. Oh no, I bought them a long time ago. I <laughs> I didn't buy anything. Um nom nom. Um nom nom. This is extraordinary. Flippin' heck, I never thought he'd live to say to say an alapaca gorging himself on a black truffle. That could be more mistake. The black truffle is indeed the king of foods. And despite that, he needs just one more treat. The legendarily trunk crunchy snow radish of Yule. <gasps> I got these bum enemy drops in Yule. <laughs> yeah, this is what I find so funny about this. Even on my first playthrough, even on my first playthrough, I've done this entire side quest without trying. And I didn't even know this side quest. And of course, this that being the first time, who would have thought this side quest would exist? You know, you can get bananas in Alma Moon. You can get black truffles from Hamelin. You can get snow radishes from Enemy Drop, should you have stayed there long enough and grinded. And, you know, you could have just, you know, you could have just gone, flown through this thing without even trying. So, yeah, there you go. And on top of that, the leech gem into 2500 Gs, you get some new alchemy formula. So, what do we have today? We have Princess Chocolate, Fantastic Flan, uh, Hot Cake, Knicker, Knickerbocker Glory, Golden Pie, and Tutti Fruity Ice Cream. So these are basically the best versions of every single treat for your familiars. Like they grant you the highest bits of magical attack, or well, highest bits and stats, and they're the biggest in heaviness, so definitely get on that. You're more than likely to have the first two of the uh, of the materials you need. However, as for the third one, that's basically a different story. Oh, and by the way, I got a Dra I got that Drake stone from enemy drops here in per in Perdida or Billy Goat's Bluff. And that's not fair. That's not fair. Like, this one needed uh, two crown berries, and Knickerbocker Glories required one crown berry. That, that's, that's just bull. <laughs> and more crown berries, of course. <laughs> okay. I mean, sure. Sure. Fine. Whatever. It's no big deal. Okay. So, uh, let's see. What do I want to do more of? Uh, let's see. How much more do we have left? There are only two more pieces of heart to do. Uh, yeah. We are going to do that. Uh, do we have... Uh... No, we don't. Okay. So, we have three of these, actually. Okay. Three of the uh, pieces of heart. So, let's see. More... Haven't you seen a more beautiful evening sun that's always there for some reason? Because time doesn't change. Only the look only when you're switching locations do time change. We 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 watch each of the colors drain from the world as the night sky dons its starry robes. Oh, that's poetic. That is very poetic. I gotta admit though, like I uh, you no, you really do have to admit. Uh Perdita? Is a really cool place. It's a nice place to live. Like, for one, you have no town music. <laughs> and second off, you know you're doing good when, you know, you have one of the most beautiful views in the game, period, with that sunset and, you know, the sunset colors, and it's just so great. It is really, really great. Like, 
taking this, like, uh, okay, I'll go over to the entrance. Yeah, look at this view. Look at this view. It, it, it it's really good. The view is fantastic. Like, even though this isn't technically an open world game and you can't go any everywhere, like, the view, you can't deny that the views in this game are great. They really, really are. Okay, so we have uh, two more pieces of heart to extract. Uh, so we have this lady with the with the adorable <laughs> with the adorable alpaca, <laughs> and also the child is there. All right, so we get along very well, but he's not my real brother. You see, he must be like family. Our town is small. We all like family here. Everyone in the town cares for each other. Yeah, again. Alluding to small communities. Again, Perdita, very nice place to live. Alright, so you got love? We shall take love. We shall take it, cause of love. God, it's the holidays, and you know what that means. Time for... <laughs> time for us to gush about Rat City Street Kids and how... And how it's probably the best, worst Christmas movie of all time. Actually, no. It's It belongs to the Christmas tree. It really does. Because God, what, what a freaking show that one is. <laughs> what a freaking show the Christmas tree is. Like, okay. So, you know, you saw... You, you all know why you saw the Christmas tree. Because of the fact that... Uh, you know, Nostalgia Critic reviewed it and all that good stuff. And, you know, you just have to see for yourself what it is. You can easily, you can very easily look it up on YouTube. And it's basically the animated equivalent to The Room, you know? It's like, you can't just imagine or, like, predict how bad it's just going to be. Like, the animation is non-existent. And the voice actors don't even try. And the overall message of you always win when you're good is bullshit. <laughs> so, you know, it's 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 definitely something to watch during the holidays. Also, this couple is probably the best couple in gaming because you keep getting broken hearted. It's taking another wrong turn and the side quest bar agrees. You know the drill. Yep. Her confidence is in short supply, so we gotta restore her confidence. Also, I was wrong. <laughs> yeah, I was wrong. So, yeah, confidence boost. You know, it's just for the sake of being confidence. Because, you know, maybe the game decided, oh, hey, uh, we needed a piece of heart, so uh, what's one that we haven't done in forever? Um, confidence, yeah, confidence. Yeah, let's do that. So yeah, we got places to be and things to sell. So they'll be able to open up their dream shop in no time. Hopefully. Alright, so we get our very first tom tonic. I almost said tomic. <laughs> Six merit stamps, cool. So, tonics fully restore HP to a single person. And I think it's the material we need to make Sage's Secret. Okay, uh, what other... What other, uh, you know, things need, a uh, tonic? I mean, aside from, you know, the thing. Uh, nothing else. Okay. Cool. Okay. So, um, I'm gonna... No, you're not brokenhearted. I know that person's not brokenhearted. Wow, only three. Okay. So I can think of one last thing that we could do. And one that I probably should have done from the very beginning, but oh well. And it could have really helped me out with those familiars. Horace, baby, how you doing, man? Got a good riddle for me, babe? Ah, it's you, Ollie. You must have been you must have had a lot of time on your hands to climb all the way up here. Well, we had to take we had a dragon to take us here, so it must have been tough for you, huh? Hardly. One of the great things about being a ghost is that it can pretty much go anywhere. Anyways, take a look around the words on this board here. They're in them funny letters, aren't they? Those are the sage those are from the Sagely Stone Age. 
This town is so remote that there are still traces of those times here. Blimey, I can't make head nor tail of the wonky writing. I suppose they look a bit like Nas Khan. Now that I think about it. Maybe you're not as stupid as you look, Pipsqueak. They're actually based on Nas Khan ruins. And speaking of Nas Khan, it's been a while since I gave you something to decipher. If you look through the chapter, The Reasons of the World and Your Wizard's Companion, you'll find bits of Nas Khan here and there. There's a certain character that appears only in one location. My question is, where is it? Don't worry, this isn't one that, this isn't this one isn't as hard as it sounds. Well, not quite. <laughs> when you work it out, let me know. Page 319 on the Wizard's Companion shows that well, one of these places is named Otley. Like, all you can see here is in English for each of these locations on the top. But not Old Smokey, though. So, yeah, you can type in either of those names for your answer. Have you worked it out yet, Ollie? Let me give you that question again. Only Phil allows me, allows, is allowed to call me Ollie. Alright, so you can enter both of those names if you want, but personally, we're going to go for the easier option. So, we're going to go with Old Smokey. You got it, Ollie. Each area is marked on the maps will correspond to a number written in Nazcan. And the only character that appears is once is the six next to Jabal al Tukan. Looks like you're really getting into your way around the wizard's companion. I think you deserve... I think that deserves a reward. The Veil Spell. Easily one of the best spells ever because... It lets you avoid enemy detection. Gee, thanks, Horace. I'm sure it'll come in real handy. Oh, can I ask you something? Do you know anything about a little island that has a monument with Nas Khan writing on it? Off in the sea to the west of the fairy ground, it is. Do you mean? Do you know the one I mean? West of the fairy ground. Hmm. Oh, I think there was a big battle there during the Wizard Wars. But I'm sure there used to be a much bigger island there. Where can this new one have sprung from? Well, Mom always told us fairies she made all the islands around by there. Maybe she wasn't talking out of her hat, old hat after all. Really? So the fairy's mom can do creation magic? Interesting. And do you really reckon you reckon you really reckon she wasn't fibbing? Ha! Huh, there's more to my old mom than meets the eye. Hold on a minute. How do you know all this? Hmm? Hi? How? I, um, that's a good question. I don't remember. I'm sure you do know an awful lot, Horace. I bet there isn't a single thing you don't know about the wizard's companion. It's just what's your story, man. How come you know all the dim, all about the dim and distant past? I told you, Pipsqueak, I'm the sage of the ages. That's not a flippin' answer. But that's all I can remember. I'm Horace, the sage of ages. Beyond that, your guess is as good as mine. You really can't remember. I was certain that I was certain that traveling the world would help bring back more of my memory, but now I'm not so sure. Sometimes I feel like it's all coming back to me, but then it goes again. I'm right back to where I started. Bah, who cares? What matters is I can go wherever I like and see whatever I please. Why fret about a little thing like losing my memory? I guess so. I mean, as long as you're sure you're happy. I'll be fine. And if I do remember something, you'll be the first to know. I'll be back waiting where we first met. Bye for now. So yeah, Horace has lost his memory. And who knows if we'll solve it. But either way, yeah, Veil is a spell I honestly can't live without. Even though we're running like way over time here, I don't care. <laughs> okay, so Veil vale is incredibly, incredibly useful because, like I said, it helps you avoid enemy detection as long as it's up. This is extremely, extremely helpful, especially considering where you're, where you're going and wherever you're going to dangerous places or whatever you're grinding up on Toko Tokos. This spell is incredibly helpful, and as you can see... No one is noticing me at all. They're not scurrying off in fear because I'm too overpowered as heck. It's just so amazing. 
So, yeah. I'm definitely going to make use of this spell. Definitely. Definitely. But either way, um, we pretty much done all that we can for today. So, with that, we're done. So, we're going to take care of more side questing and possibly exploration. Because now that Mornstar is back to its full strength, we can now open up purple chests. And there are chests that we've missed throughout the world, so... We're probably going to go after those. So, I will indeed see you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.